Hi, I'm Julia Finlayson. I'm a development manager at Argent and I'm in uh, the Granary Square Pavilion, which is the winning of the placemaking category of the NLA Awards. So originally the pavilion was going to be a um, two or three storey pavilion, similar to the Leiterman on the other side of Granary Square, but we decided once um, we had completed both the coal office behind me and, and coal drops yard, that uh, the heritage buildings should become part of, be, be more part of uh, Granary Square. So we decided to e effectively extend Granary Square over the site of this pavilion. It really acts as um, two different projects. The first project is um, at the lower end on Granary Square, a small commercial space that I'm sitting in at the moment, that's a cafe and public toilet facilities. And above we have the public realm strategy um, on the corner of Granary Square and the lift that gives um, access into Cold Drops Yard. Uh, the pavilion sits on the corner of the historic ramp that enters down into Cold Drops Yard. And what we were really interested in doing was creating a building that, while at once is quite quiet because it's kind of underneath the square, also has a presence on both Cold Drops Yard and Granary Square above. Um, and that's really the game we played in terms of the facade and the design for the lift. The architectural language of the building was derived from two key ideas. The first of these ideas was the idea of using cast iron. And we were interested in cast iron because of the resonance of the materiality with King's Cross and St Pancras and the stations and, and their historic design um, and also the industrial heritage of the site. I think what's so successful about King's Cross's development is the friction between the modern design and its relationship with its industrial heritage. And secondly, we wanted to play around with the idea of Coal Drops Yard. So we started looking at ideas about imagery around coal, around the chemical sim symbols for coal and from that we derived a pattern um, from the chemical symbol of coal which we then cast into iron and that's the form of the facade that you see on the pavilion. It's very successful in the way that it it's, uh, uses um, its architectural elements of the lift shaft and the balustrade and the, uh, the facade details to integrate into this heritage environment so even though it is a new building it works very well with the uh, existing heritage buildings.